So this is Natalia, and her story is crazy. So she's nine, she's an orphan from the Ukraine, and she has a rare form of dwarfism. And one day, boom, she finally gets adopted. And she's adopted by this middle-class American family, this guy Michael, and his wife Christine. And everyone's happy, and everything is going great for them. Until that first night, Christine goes to the bathroom to give Natalia a bath. And she notices Natalia's already been through puberty, allegedly. Like she has hair down there. And as time goes on, they notice other stuff about her that they think is weird. Like she's from the Ukraine, but doesn't understand Ukrainian all that well. And so Michael and Christine get suspicious. And they start accusing Natalia of all kinds of wild stuff. Like wanting to stab them in their sleep. Like trying to poison them. <laughs> like they said she tried to push Christine into an electric fence one time. Like it's crazy. And they start to worry about their physical safety around her. So they put her in a psychiatric hospital. And by this time, Natalia's probably like 10 years old. And Michael and Christine come up with this theory about her. That she's not really a 10-year-old kid, but that she's secretly an adult. An adult who just kind of looks like a child because she has this rare form of dwarfism. And they believe that Natalia, this like secret adult, is trying to unalive them and their biological kids. So when Natalia gets out of the psychiatric hospital, they take her to another doctor. That doctor confirms that they're right. Natalia isn't a child, but rather she's an adult who's closer to 22 years old. Here's the thing though that I need to make clear. That doctor is wrong. She's not 22. She's actually around 10 at this time. A DNA test later confirms this. So she's just a 10 year old kid with a rare form of dwarfism and some mental health issues who they believe is an adult. Regardless, Michael and Christine bring this doctor's note to a judge and the judge approves changing Natalia's birth certificate. So now this like 10 year old is legally 22. So now that she's a legal adult, Michael and Christine move her out into her own apartment about five minutes away from them. So Natalia's living on her own. And of course she's struggling for a lot of reasons. Like the apartment isn't accessible for a little person. She also doesn't really like clean or bathe herself properly because, you know, she's 10, so she smells. And poor Natalia, she gets lonely living in that apartment all by herself. So she'll just like walk into neighbors' houses without knocking, like trying to talk to them. And the neighbors get all weirded out because they've been told she's an adult. So to them, she's a 22-year-old with dwarfism who smells bad and who just walks into people's houses without knocking. So all the neighbors get together and they report her to the landlord and she gets evicted. So then, Michael and Christine still don't want to take care of her. So they move her to a different apartment. Meanwhile, they move far, far away from her. She's in Indiana, they move to Canada. So now poor Natalia really has no one. But while she's living at her new place, Natalia meets this woman, Mrs. Manns. And Mrs. Manns immediately sees through all the bullshit. She's like, you're not 22, you're a kid. They've been lying to you. And by the way, Natalia's probably around 11 at this point. So Mrs. Manns invites her over and they end up liking Natalia a lot. So much so that she stays and never leaves. And she ultimately ends up becoming part of their family. Good for her. Meanwhile, I guess police show up to the apartment Natalia's supposed to be living in and they're looking for her because apparently she hasn't paid any of her bills and no one's really heard from her since she moved in with Mrs. Mann's family. And I'm guessing she hasn't paid any of her bills because she's like, you know, 11. So police track her down and they're like, why haven't you paid any of your bills? Are you okay? And she's like, I'm only a kid. And they're like, where are your parents? And she's like, they abandoned me and went to Canada. And police are like, what the f***? So police arrest Michael and Christine for abandoning their kid. Here's his mugshot and here's hers. And they try to charge them with child neglect, but they can't. Since Michael and Christine legally had Natalia's age changed to 22, she's not legally a child. So instead they charge them with neglecting a dependent. So Michael and Christine are out on bail, they're waiting for their trial, and they go on a whole ass press tour trying to paint Natalia as a villain. We would find knives under her bed. And eventually they go to trial and Michael's found not guilty of neglect. And so the prosecution drops their case against Christine. Womp womp. But the good news is, is that Natalia was eventually officially adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Manns. And now it appears like she has good parents who seem to really love her and take care of her. And most of this happened like years ago and now she's all grown up and she has a TikTok account. Hey guys, it's Natalia. I wanted to come on here and just let you guys know that this is my new TikTok. And good for her. Shout out to Indiana.